Senator John McCain, of course, served in the Navy and came from a family with a long heritage of military service. Our next guest knew him in the Navy not long after the senator was freed from more than five years of North Vietnamese captivity. John McCain was his commanding officer. Retired U.S. Navy Captain Chuck Nass joins us now. Captain, he was your commanding officer, 77 to 1978, mm -hmm. VA 174 at the Naval Air Station in Jacksonville. What was he like? I would imagine he was tough, I mean, really tough, probably, but, but fair. Uh, I'll tell you, Eric, uh, John McCain, like, uh, he, he's very well known, uh, obviously, but uh, he was among many of the heroes who came back from Vietnam. Names that people don't know, Bob Naughton, Ross Terry, uh, Irv Williams, Ray Alcorn. I mean, I could just go on and on and on. These guys put up with daily, weekly, horrific torture, and they came out of it like tempered steel. Everybody has a breaking point, and they reached theirs probably multiple times, but they never were conquered. They healed themselves and they counted on each other to provide that healing and enthusiastic support to bring people back with no medical attention, just the, the, the spirit of each other caring for their brother, bringing them back only to be tortured again and go through the process. And to do that year in, year out, five to six years, and not lose faith in your country, but to, to hold that faith dear, what they did was an inspiration to all of us who came in. Uh, I joined the Navy and my first day of active duty was in 1973 and I was privileged throughout uh, the beginnings of my career to be surrounded by such men. So when you talk about heroes, it's a grossly overused word, but not in their case. Uh, certainly not, they certainly are, and it's unimaginable what he and they went through. Uh, when you dealt with him under his command, uh, mm -hmm. what was that like? What type of, there had to be something very special because you <laughs> knew in your heart what he went through. There was, there was uh, one moment uh, when I just showed up in VA 174 at Cecil Field in Jacksonville and uh, they, they took my class and there must have been 12 or 14 of us and they put us in a room at the end of the passageway and the uh, executive officer of the squadron came in and the ops officer came in and everybody gave us a talk and one of the things they said was okay don't any of you guys be presumptuous enough to think you're going to get through this program that you go out and buy a house don't do that because we've got about a one-third washout rate and blah 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 and so we're all sitting there going oh my god and then they're going to go okay stand by because the skipper's coming and we're thinking holy cow if we got this from the ops officer and the exo what's the skipper going to say well he came in and of course he had our full respect uh, because of we knew who he was but he came in and it was just the opposite he said you guys are entering probably the most exciting time of your entire life you will look back on this with with pride and enthusiasm and always with fondness and you know he just lit up the room he just lit up the room he had he had he was humble he was America first, he was country first and service first. His father, John C. D. McCain, Pacific mm -hmm. commander during uh, Vietnam. His grandfather, uh, a senior, the uh, head of the Pacific Aircraft Carrier Operations. I want to play a soundbite from uh, the Liberty Awards just last October. Listen to how self-effacing and modest John McCain is. The land where a person can escape the consequences of a self-centered youth and know the satisfaction of sacrificing for an ideal. The land where you can go from aimless rebellion to a noble cause and from the bottom of your class to your party's nomination for president. You see, he's poking fun at himself, you know, mm -hmm. fifth from the bottom of the class. What is his yeah. legacy? What does he mean to us? And what does he mean to you? I think he, um, as I mentioned earlier, Eric, uh, along with all of those other POWs who put up with so much and kept the faith and supported each other, uh, it's tenacity. Uh, it is the, the, to be bent but never conquered, uh, to, to fight back and, and to hold true uh, such meaningful things as country um, and honor and integrity. Uh, those guys... Uh, they were all more than checked up against the glass. They were, they were really hammered, and yet they never gave that up. And I've got a brief quote from John McCain's book that was released in May that I'd like to read as well. Absolutely. And he said, I hope those who mourn my passing and those who don't 
will celebrate as I celebrate a happy life lived in imperfect service to a country made of ideals whose continued success is the hope of the world. That from Restless Wave, Captain Chuck Nash, thank you so much for your insight. John McCain, an American icon, an American hero, and a symbol for us all. Thank you. Privileged to be here.